In this video, I'm gonna give you five essential analytics tools that you should have in your tracking stack in order to be successful with taking your data to the next level. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com, where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and in this video, I want to discuss my five recommendations for you to take your data to the next level with tracking technologies that you should be using with your website. So let's get started. Number one, have a tag management system. Now, you know that I'm a big fan of Google Tag Manager, but for me, tag management is really something you should have installed already last year or the year before that if you don't have something on your website right now that handles that. Because it's very important to ensure the data quality and also the enrichment of data from time to time and be flexible when implementing tracking. And a tag management solution can help you streamline these processes. In a whole digital analytics process, the measurement part is really important because you wanna ensure that you have clean and consistent data that you can analyze and then draw insights from. If you don't have a tag management system available, then it might make the job of a web analyst that much harder. So please consider, if you don't have something like that, to add that to your tracking stack. Number two, have a general analytics tool. Now gathering the data is not enough. You also need to store it somewhere and then analyze it. So with the help of a Google Analytics or an Adobe Analytics, you can do all this and more. And it really depends on the business and the kind of website that you want to track in order to get the right tool for the right purposes. Now a Google Analytics is a very universal tool, but some things are harder to accomplish with a Google Analytics. There's also a KISS metrics, which has a different data model, and Adobe Analytics, which is also a big solution out there, or more specialized solutions like a mix panel, which is very good at tracking events, for example. But no matter what you choose, get one solution that you can gather all your data in and analyze it and ask questions against in order to get the most out of your data. Number three, have a good survey tool available. Now surveys are not the classical quantitative data that you can gather in Google Analytics or in Adobe Analytics, but surveys really give you fast insight into the mind of your customer or the user who visits your website. So having something like a survey monkey or a survey gizmo to survey your newsletter subscribers programmatically can make a big difference in the understanding that you have about your user and the data that you might have attached in a Google Analytics to it. Especially for young companies, I often recommend to survey the customers in order to make sense of most of the quantitative data that they have in their systems. So if you don't have a survey tool or haven't tried out a survey tool yet, then I would highly recommend getting something installed or sending out a survey like with a survey monkey or a survey gizmo in order to learn more about your users and really make sure you do it regularly. Number four, have a data analysis and presentation tool. Now an Adobe Analytics or Google Analytics have great capabilities of analyzing your data on the fly, but sometimes you want to be able to connect the data from different tools together. And really what you need is one data repository where you can pull all the data in. And in most companies, this is still and Microsoft Excel or a Google Spreadsheets in order to match up the data very quickly and then draw the right analysis on it. If you wanna get more sophisticated, then I would recommend that you look into a statistical analysis language such as R or get a license for a Tableau, which makes it really easy to also take the data and then present it to somebody with more advanced graphics. And a crucial part of the digital analytics process is the analysis and the presentation to the stakeholders or the decision makers later on. So having a good outside analysis tool and presentation tool to your disposal is one of my recommended essentials for a tracking stack. And number five, have an action tool. Now, an action tool sounds a little bit vague, I admit, but it's really important to take your data and then go over into action, do something with the data in order to get results from your analysis process from all your digital analytics effort. 
So having a action tool in your arsenal is crucial in order to take the last step. What is an action tool? Well, if you think about the data that you have been gathering, how can you take this to the next level and actually make money with this? And a great example is Google Analytics in combination with Google AdWords, because you can remarket to audiences that you have gathered within Google Analytics right away through the connection to AdWords, which makes your data and your segments in Google Analytics super actionable. Another example would be if you have an email marketing tool, having the right email marketing automation installed with the help of Google Tag Manager, for, for example, can make it easy to identify something in your analysis and then take it to the test by sending out an email to those specific users that you might have identified in your analysis. But it also could be your customer database and you send out letters afterwards, or you can also incentivize people directly on your site by putting up a personalization tool such as an Optimizely. So having an action tool will take your digital analytics stack to the full circle from gathering the data, analyzing it, presenting it, making decisions upon, and then taking action. So there you have it. These would be my five analytics tools that I would put into my beginner tracking stack if I didn't have anything built up yet. Obviously, there are other tools out there which you might be using, such as an IB testing tool or a heat map tool. But really, in my opinion, they take a back seat at the beginning because you should get familiar with the data that you have in your current tracking stack and try to figure out how you can get the maximum value out of it before you start playing with other tools. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and we'll produce more videos every week. My name is Julian, till next time.